Krishna Krishna Bhakta Namo 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 Vishnu Pada Radhika Ekriyatmane Sri Sri Mad Bhakti Vedanta Narayana Itina Sri Krishna Lila Katane Sudaksham Audari Madhuri Agunai Sayyutam Varam Varenyam Purusham Mahantam Narayanam Tam Sirasam Ridandi Nam Bhakta Shiro Manisha Sri Krishna Padam Jaika Vudi Chaitanya Lila Sarasam Prapadye Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Priya Dvaita Gadadara Sri Vasadi Sri Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare. First of all, let me offer my millions of references. What is it after a good day, Rupan, Varga, Nam, and Ishta sometimes? All present, past, future, Vaishnava, Tava, Dano, Pranam, Vancha, Kalpataru, Supra, Sunday, Eva, so today is our fifteenth, huh? Sixteenth, seventeenth. So seventeenth is full new moon day. And the 18th Tuesday is uh, Purushottam. Uh, uh, Purushottam, the month of Purushottam. Uh, so now the first Chaturmasya, 15 days as, will end on 18th. Uh, then remaining 15 days after one month. Uh, so this one month, from 18th huh? till uh, 16th August. We have to follow like Kartik. Uh, <clears throat> do deep down, you know, lamping. Yeah. Ghee lamp or till lamp or cast oil lamp, uh, like that. Um, morning and evening. If you cannot do morning, you do at least evening. Huh? Um, then no must oil, huh? no mustard seeds like that. No urdal, you know. Um, no tomatoes. <laughs> um, like we told, uh, no green chilies and uh, red chilies, chili powder. Just now I was talking, you know. See, they, I should take a photo, but I should send you. Know? See, black pepper, you know, I think everybody knows black pepper. Now, this is, uh, I don't know, I can see it or not. Ipli. You know, it looks like Ipli. Huh? You, you, it's a spice. Huh? Mm -hmm. This is powder. Uh, this is little heart. Uh, so instead of chili powder, make this powder and then use it. Huh? Ipli. Huh? This is very positive, very healthy. Instead of chili powder. 
simply in english they call it long pepper long pepper see is uh, actually it lo looks long see long pepper you know so long pepper long pepper you know looks like name is appropriate is very sattvic um you were uh, so many problem will go away you know the stomach uh, you know gas feeling uneasy all these things uh jagannath puri like we said they don't use this red chili green chili chili powder no they use this powder and then uh, black pepper white pepper like that tomato is also instead of tomato you uh lemon or some people what they do is the mango uh unripe mango i think huh? they cut it and they dry it in the season and they use that uh, for uh, in 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 place of uh, tomato you know like that they do so um, you know adjustments because sattvic you know krishna also says you have to be sattvic um, our food should be our medicine medicine should be our food instead of that we take you know wrong food okay <laughs> plus medicines every toxic medicine see whole world western world now is realizing you know turmeric for example turmeric has so many benefits they are putting turmeric powder into a capsule selling you know 100 times <laughs> the cost price <laughs> so and they, they are feeling effective you know turmeric um then mango ginger uh 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 amada in bengali they call it amada uh it's uh, it's also famous there bengali bengal uh mango ginger amada na no? ada ada is ginger amada uh, is uh, mango ginger very good you know so uh, krishna also darbhats uh, is favorable see the thing is this this, this is the food that we take we prepare you know the ingredients we use must also be favorable to bhakti you know it should not cause uh it should not irritate if our body gets irritated our mind gets irritated then we cannot do chant you know say this is the thing you know that's why sattvic uh, krishna says middle path not too much not too little and sattvic and by offering to him we make it transcendental so uh um uh, like that and the more you take sugar the, so much calcium will get up get out of our body iron will get out of our body so it become weak you know uh same thing you know the other things you know forbidden tamas it meat or yeah you know really makes you weak and then sick and then it will our compassion will go away see the root of dharma ha huh? the way to please lord is compassion you know and then shama you know for you so uh compassion you know so recognizing lord is there in it 
in everyone's heart we have no right to kill or so uh but once you uh see the see the uh, one time in i remember you know the people remember in varsana there was the sadhu he was doing his bhajan you know having armanch are krishna are krishna 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 are 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 ram are ram krishna krishna always and uh, below that little kutir he had huh? and he was uh, doing his bhajan like that. and then uh, below that nearby in the cave there was a uh, you know like a tiger huh? tiger so the tiger was hearing the name and then gradually uh, it came out see the naam changed you know the nature of the tiger you know came out and was sitting nearby and then after a while the sadhu was not very you know he was not afraid because he saw lord is there you know uh, See, if you are not afraid of them, they will not be afraid of you. See, you see, our cows goes to the grazing, right? Almost like forest. The snakes will come, this, but they don't come near the cow. You know, they are their way, and the cows are on their way. They are not afraid either one. So, uh, so the lion. because the sadhu was not um, afraid it felt also great oh is a good then sadhu is to give some roti some chapatis he is to go madukari you know taking his uh, carrier 9 o'clock no that in morning he go village and they will collect it come back and uh, if he is there he will give some like he offering prasadam to the lion also uh, tiger so tiger was taking 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 and then uh, the time it came when the tiger came inside the is uh, kutir huh? and then you know listen like he is doing are gets are gets is is then he is to go out and then bring chapati offer it, give it to him. tiger tiger is it so tiger has observed this then after a while what tiger did was <laughs> you know see that uh, that container has a little handle right long handle so it put his his neck under that thing so here it is hanging and it was going to the houses and people used to put you know like madukari in other words the tiger was doing madukari on behalf of this sadhu okay <laughs> sadhu <laughs> doesn't have to go for you know madukari he used to bring and then he used to offer give you know some thing the tiger was very happy you know this is real story okay people were. so like that the is amazing effect of prasadam the naam influence of naam it can transmute the animalistic nature we have seen in the uh, in the in the past time of chaitanya mahaprabhu you know, dogs so he even made them chant tiger elephant again each other ah uh, 
because he changed their consciousness spontaneously. Okay. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has that power, you know, spontaneously. And uh, many of our devotees, like uh, Rasikananda, for example, Rasikananda was a, a devotee, but he was not appeared in a very good family or, you know, like a caste like that. They were thinking, ah, this way, that way. So, um, so to make him, make him afraid or, you know, they sent uh, elephants which are uh, very difficult to control, you know, very angry, uh, very rude, rude, you know, elephants. But the devotee is not afraid. He was chanting and then he made the elephants also devotees. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, every animal, okay, every animal is crying for Krishna. Okay. They all want to associate, to do service to Krishna. You cannot help them. You know, but when you are in the animal, they are completely covered over, you know. Uh, they know only these four things, eating, sleeping, eating. You know. Beyond that, they know. But even then, when they come in touch with a pure devotee, the words, huh? the pure noun, the holy name, it can change their consciousness. You know, bring that Sankuchita huh? to Mukulita, Vikasita, you know, contracted consciousness become budding and then awaken consciousness. You know? See, there are many examples. Uh, like uh, I remember one time we were telling, you know, feeding um, the lion cub. Huh? Lion cub was given the milk. From the time it was born, cow's milk. See what happened? It became a uh, hardware like a uh, lion, but software like a like a cow. Because it started taking the sattvic you know, milk. So from the beginning itself. Uh, so that is the effect. Prasadam. Is not ordinary. You know? uh, it's transcendental. You know? Once it becomes prasada, so so you might ask that. Wait a minute! I'm taking all life my prasada. But the thing is, how we approach prasada? See, that's why in this purushottam mass, coming purushottam mass, or any time, we should make a determination. You know. Prasadam meaning with honor. We have to honor prasad. We have to serve prasadam. Understand? Like when we chant, we are serving the holy nam, the nama, huh? nami, huh? nama. Nama is also personality. The nam, the name of the Lord is also personality. We are serving him. Tilaka, we are serving tilaka. That the dust of the gopis is alive, okay, is not material or like a huh? personality is there. Like Ganga, Ganga water is not uh, ordinary water, you know, because she is a personality, spiritual personality. The water is a, is a body, it is also transcendental, you know. So, uh, so he sees, some people ask this, actually one time this, uh, the question was asked, okay, you bring, you come to India, I take Ganga water, and then take home, you, uh, you drink some time. Now what happens to that Ganga water? Wait till the end. You know what they say? Bah, bah, that Ganga water will not go away. It will go back, okay? 
and it will come back where near Ganga and it will rain and then it will join again. So it will be recirculating. No? So much power is there in Ganga. We, we cannot see this, we cannot understand. But sadhus, acharyas can see these things. No? So, um, and the Ganga water, you know, it does not get uh, contaminated or dumb. Uh, it remains pure, even if you keep it for 50 years, 100 years. In, uh, they have done it, you know, put it in a little copper thing or seal it, 100 years, 50 years. Britishers, okay, they when they, 300 years ago, when they occupied India, you know, all nonsense. But anyway, they used to go back by ship, right? It takes long time, month, two months. So they need water every day in the ship. Any river water will get contaminated. You know, it will not last too long. But they knew Ganga water will not get bad. So for drinking and all that for their utility, they used to carry Ganga water in their ships. You know. So this is uh, very well known. People say, oh, Ganga is polluted. You can pollute it, but it cannot get polluted. Okay? Never get contaminated. Because it's transcendental. You know? But it is difficult. You know? That's why you have to see through the Shastra, eyes of Shastra. And you can experience it, experiment it. And uh, you will see that what Shastra is telling truth. So, uh, like that, the yeah, honoring prasada. See, if you want to make progress in spiritual life very fast, is through prasada. Right? Swami Maharaj, so I used to call it. Ours is a kitchen religion, right? Like <laughs> right? So, um, the. Honoring when you are taking every now you say Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Uh, pay obeisances, go around. If you cannot, at least in your mind, you go around prasadam three times, four times. In your mind, at least, then and pray to the prasadam. Oh, please allow me to serve you. You know, allow me to serve you. Please make me better devotee, you know, like that. And pay off something, and then take. And then don't get distracted by TV, you know, mobile. You can turn off or put it in the silent mode or something, you know. During that time, oh, you know, one morsel, one mouthful, and then it's a Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. You cannot say loudly, don't worry, but in your mind. Right? You know, one time at least, three times, four times, more time you do it, it's even better. Then what happens, it gets mixed in saliva very well. And because it, in Vishuddha, it, it's going to transform our mode of ignorance and passion into mode of goodness. Just like um, the lion, see, and the tiger. They remember, they gave the example. They gave up their uh, violent behavior, you know, more of ignorance uh, behavior, became sattvic, you know, you know good, more of goodness, you know, not hurting anybody. So, that transformation takes place if we honor this prasadam, you know, in that mood, you know. So, by taking the name, without giving any different direction, our consciousness, not diverting. The thing is, 
we should not divert our consciousness you know at least say it takes five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes it doesn't matter how long it takes on our process you know don't be in a hurry you know, so, and you see the benefit. Wow. You know, our agitation of the mind, understand? Agitation of the mind, our disease are so many this and that, it will just go away by that process. You know? So, uh, we pray at least that time, you know. Ho oh, Prasad, transcendent, huh? Pra Prabhu, Pra, huh? Sa Sakshat, non different. Da Darshana, you know, is audience. So Prasadam is actually Lord's Darshan, you know, he is giving audience in the form of Prasad. He has appeared Prasad. He may say, Oh, everything is prasada, is, is mercy, right? You say, prasada is mercy, is mercy. So, that's why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, on the day of Ekasi, Jagannath Puri, what they brought? They brought Jagannath Prasad. Oh, see, let us see what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu does. He cannot reject Mahaprasad. Especially Jagannath. So, <laughs> what he will do? So, they brought and then Lord immediately paid obeisances to the Prasad Mahaprasad. You know, because he is Lord Jagannath, not different from Jagannath, then made circumvallation. Then did Kirtan, then Arati, then Kirtan. Then Harikata and the Mahaprasad. Like that, like that, it went on and on. And then uh, morning came, Dwadasi morning. You know, Parana time came, then he accepted. You know, so <laughs> like that. So uh, it's amazing, you know. So this Purushottam mass, every, every day, we um, make determination, you know. In, in other words, this is quality of accepting prasad. Quality of honoring prasad should increase, should get better. I'm saying it. Same way honoring Vaishnavas, others, in our heart, you know. Uh, like other day there was a question, you know, how we, 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 we should not become disturbed by so many this personality, that personality, this incident, that incident, you know, how to protect ourselves, very difficult, you know, in the past or, you know, certain personality irritate us, right, irritating. Now what to do, we have to live with them or come in touch with them, then, you know, we feel irritated, then what, 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 how best is to handle this? Best is, see in their heart, in our, in him or her heart, our Supreme Worshipable Lord, you got rather, huh, Krishna, Yugal Kishore is there. They are there, right? In the heart. So they are there. And that person behavior and all that is also controlled by him. You know? Especially a super soul, you know. Uh, devotee's heart is rather evil in the there. But you can see them even if they are not good. At least Paramatma will be there. In the you know, our same evil case, you know, they have become Paramatma. So they are there. And that person is not independent. He is acting according to 
the dictate of his karma. You know, he is not independent. He also doesn't want to irritate you, really speaking. And we don't want to get irritated. But what to do? See? So, see, in that situation, don't see the external. See the background. Oh, Supreme Lord. You know, how my Supreme Worshipable Radha, you know, the Arya, Radha, Radha Govinda. They have become like this and they are standing. You know? So I should accept it. So try to see the background. Lord's control. Because no one is independent. Nobody is independent. Not even electrons, atoms, everything is under his control. Sarvatra Sarvada, Sarva Akara, Sarva Ashraya, Sarva Uttadaka, Sarva Palaka, Sarva Samharaka, Sarva Niyamaka, Sarva Preraka, Sarva Pravartaka, Sarva Nivartaka, Yata Yogya, Purna Jnana Ajnana Bandha Moksha Prada. He is, he is inspiring everybody. You know, he is giving inspiration comes from him. He is giving shelter to everybody, everything coming from him. And he kills everything, finally. So, he is the one who brought us, he is the one who is going to take us away. So, to everybody, this is applicable for everybody. Nobody is independent. So, ultimately, he, he. So, if we try to see him, Behind everything, see? then what what will be there in this world? You see him everywhere, right? You see him in the in the jada, you know, inert material, trees, animals, humans. Then how you will be separated from him? Yomam Pashyati Sarvatra, Sarvatra. One who sees me everywhere and sees everything in me, I am never lost to him nor he lost to me. Krishna says, Yomam Pashyati Sarvatra. Pashyampa. So, then what is there? So, our human form of life are this. He is there to bring this change in consciousness in us, see? Which is true. The, actually, the truth is that. But we have to be trying, we have to see this. So practice, how, how we can do? Practice. Practice meaning what? Without test. Now, suppose you go to oh, driving, right? You go to the driving to get your license for driving. Is it not? Any country you have to go to the driver, uh, you know, department, right? Motor vehicle department to get your license. You go and then you apply and then you think they will give you a driver license. First they say, um, return test, right? Or uh, audio video. Huh? Uh, then they give you temporary permit, understand, right? <laughs> huh? What do you call? Uh, what is that permit is called? Uh, practice permit or uh, something like that. Huh? Uh, then you are, you, because at least you should know the rules. See, they don't give you the, the practice license unless you know the rules of driving, okay? They test you on the rules regulation. If you find you have passed, then they'll give you. And what is the indication in that? You cannot independently drive. Understand? You cannot independently drive. You must, there must be a legal driver along with you. Is it not? Temporary license, right? Then it is valid for one month, whatever duration, two months. Then again, once you, you 
they they check you is it not oh no sir uh, one month i practice you think they will listen to your words <laughs> they take your words no they put you in test driving test you know how you will do parking backing you know whatever parallel parking you will take you in the actual uh, scene in the city right view few streets the examiner will also be sitting he is watching how we are driving uh, signals right traffic signals whether you are following respecting them or not you get it so he does all that and then when he is satisfied yes okay he or she capable of driving proper if not he will give you note see this is where you have to improve you will fail again you have to practice come back is it not so same way okay <laughs> the thing that is happening in our life is like that imagine taking a uh, this test what is the test you have to test this word what is this word not a place of entanglement understand it is an opportunity a place of test understand testing of what are we recognizing our supreme worshipable lord for everywhere understand am i saying his influence everywhere am i saying his control everywhere am i saying his global exchanger it is his world you know is a ground so you will test it you will test us is it not like a going for a driving license you will be tested and testing means what all these different situations different personalities irritation irritating situation ah oh, now too much i can't tell you let me go away you know i will tell you sometimes extreme you know so we get agitated but then what is the solution remember krishna chant krishna see krishna's hand behind oh krishna you are you are naughty you are troubling me too much i am going to complain to mother yashoda don't disturb me too much this is too much for me to take okay <laughs> at least you remember krishna remember yashoda maya <laughs> okay so then yashoda maya will, will tell krishna hey don't give too much hardship for my you know this person is very dear to me then krishna says all right mother i don't want to get caught by you beaten by you i will babe what you are saying so you will <laughs> reduce the punishment understand <laughs> so um, like that you know our other devotees say oh lord like aridas taku prahala maharaj oh lord the punishment is not enough for me he said that he punish me more i deserve more you know draupadi ah huh? uh, also felt like that kunti mother kunti pandavas mother she said oh lord <laughs> let more difficulties come to my life you know see everybody is praying to the lord to get rid of difficulties right but mother kunti is saying the opposite let more difficulties come into my life spy so so that's why what i'm saying is even though we are not like mother kunti <laughs> you know at least um we should understand the spirit behind it understand 
we should be remembering him. See, all these incidences are very positive. Okay, don't take it as positive. Everything, you know, any incidents in our life, any situation in our life, the way we take it is in our hand. We can take it positively or negatively. Okay, it's in our hand. If we take it connection with the Lord, with the uh, Vaishnava Guru, then it is positive in the hand, you know, unseen hand of Lord. Then it is positive because it made you remember. But if you forget him, then it becomes, you know, uh, unfavorable. So every situation is there, Lord is sending, is a testing to making us strong, understand? Every time he is making us strong, that is his intention. So if we change that, then it will disappear, okay? Understand? Disappear. So, uh, like Mukunda, one time Mukunda, uh, Chaitanya, you know, the pastime of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he's a great singer, right? Mukunda Vasu Ghosh. Uh, uh, great singer. Mukunda is to sing and uh, Arida Stakur is to dance in front of Jagannath Temple. Uh, Jagannath, Ratyatra. Uh, so great singer uh, in one of the group. So, uh, but the problem was, is to go everywhere. He will associate with everybody. He will go to Mayavadi, it's Mayavadi. Oh, you're good, 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 you know. <laughs> you know. He was not discriminating to whom he was associating. So, a time came when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he showed his special, uh, you know, whatever devotees wanted to see him, you know, to bless them. Uh, Sat Prahara, you know, 21 hours. You know. So then they were telling Mukunda, you know, Lord, you have mercy on Mukunda. He said, No, I will not bless him, I will not show. Why? He always goes to the Mayavadi, this and that, and then association. So, even millions lives, only after millions lives later, I will give mercy, my mercy to him. Not now. Tell him. So, they went and told Mukunda. Huh? And he said, what? Millions of lives, we will not show you mercy. See, anybody, what will do? You, oh, I Lord, mercy of the Lord, million lives, what will happen? So they will become rejected, right? They get rejected. They become totally lost. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is their life and soul. And he is rejecting it, then what? They, it will be. Blast their life, right? I mean, but what did Mukunda took? He started dancing very happily, jumping up and down. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Gaura, 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 Gaura. He started dancing very happily. Then when they were asking, wait a minute, you would have shocked. You know, to hear chastisement by the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that he will not get his blessings by his, his darshan for millions of lives. You know what he said? No. At least I have the hope. <laughs> millions of lives later, I will have his darshan. I will have a chance to serve him. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. So, he's so enthusiasm. You know? Then they went and told Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, this is what he was he's dancing very ecstatically. 
because he have not given him up completely. At least millions of life later, he will show your mercy again. He is dancing everywhere. Because Lord knew, then bring him now. <laughs> See, <laughs> all his millions, millions of lives gone in a second. Like that. So, why Lord was doing acting like that? Actually, he's teaching through Mukunda huh? his attitude. Understand? Even though the Lord rejected, you know, but he, Lord cannot reject, okay? But he's showing extreme. And, uh, you know, Mukunda. So, in other words, Suppose if it happens in million life, you think Mukunda will be, you know, I'm saying this is not happened, but what I'm saying is Mukunda, suppose it has happened like that. Then Mukunda, I think you will forget Gauranga Mahaprabhu in the next life like that. No. Because it's so deep rooted, his faith is so strong, understand? It's like a mountain, nobody can shake. Right? It's so strong, his faith in him. You will never forget God. If you don't forget Him, then are you not having His audience? See, Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati says that, you know. Chanting the Holy Name is not different from His Darshan, because name is Nama Nami. The name is not different from the person. So we are chanting, dancing, remembering, hearing, you know? We are chanting and hearing, okay? We are not allowing anything else inside, in our here, understand? So, uh, then what is this? He got the, the, the version. So, that's why Lord said, wait a minute. Lord became very anxious, you know? No, 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 I don't want to wait. <laughs> Opposite. <laughs> Lord became concerned. Wait a minute. I want to have his darshan. You know. Um, I want to have his darshan. See, Lord is more anxious than Mukunda to give his darshan. Because of what? Mukunda's faith. Understand? Mukunda's faith was so strong. Lord was obliged. You know, you could not wait for millions of lives. <laughs> In other words, you know, he, Lord changed his own words. You understand? Lord break, broke his own words. See? Because the bhakti of Mukunda, so deep. Bhakti, determination of Mukunda was so strong. Lord was forced to change his words. He has to break his own words. You know? So, uh, the love controls, you know? Uh, like our Gurudev says, you know, uh, Lokanath. Lokanath Narottama. Lokanath has made a vow that I will never accept any disciples. Because Guru says, if disciples after that does any nonsense, the Guru has to take one sixth, you know, part of that. So he said, nothing to do. I don't want to get disturbed my, in my sadhana, you know. So he said, no, no, no. But then what happened? Jiva Goswami is told, you should take Diksha from Lokanath. His instruction, you know, Siksha Guru. So, Lokanath, uh, Narottama came to Lokanath and said, Please, no, I will not accept anybody. I made my vow. So many times he said, no, no, no. Then what happened? But Narottama did not lose his Confidence. He went and served him such a way, night time, is to come and clean the place where he is to go for 
you know, natural call, nature call, he was cleaning and all that. Then Lokanathma did not observe because he is always immersed in chanting. But still, late some days later, he, he started what? Observing. Wait a minute, this place is always clean, mud is there, this and that. Must be somebody who is doing there. Who can it be doing this? You know, not a good thing, right? You know, mundane, you know, cleaning up the uh, nature call, you know. So then he is hiding one night. Let us see who is coming. So he saw Narottama coming, crying, and putting his broom to his head, on his chest, oh, he was so fortunate, so cleaning and all that. Then he was crying, you know. Uh, then Lokanath saw this and asked, who are you? Said, I am Narottam. Who? Princess? Prince? Doing this low huh, seva. Why you do this? Oh, I want your mercy. If you don't show your mercy, I will die. Then what Lokanath did? Immediately he changed his mind, his words. He broke his own vow. You know, he accepted it immediately. You know. So, like that, the determination. Uh, bhakti can change anything. It overpowers, you know. So, so we have that strength, okay. So, Lord has bestowed us. He will bestow you so many things. See, Purushottam Mas, for example, are like Ekasi. It can give you so many things. We are here, you know, reading. You know, so many things, impossible. If you are, you will be forgiven of killing a Brahmana, or the unborn baby, da da da, so many, you know, unthinkable. But we, our interest is not that, our interest is in Bhakti. Okay? Bhakti Janani, Ekasi, or this Purushottamas following coming, is meant for increasing our Bhakti. And in this Purushottam Mahas is very, very, one very good quality is there. What is that quality? Is offenses, aprada. Aprada will not be counted. You know, even if you do, it will not be counted. It, do, it doesn't mean that it, you should go on doing aprada. Okay, I'm not saying that. Okay, don't get it wrong. Like in case unknowingly happens, uh, it will not be taken in this month of Purushottam. You know? So, that means what? See, in our day-to-day -day life, we do, trying to do our sadhana. So many times we do knowingly or unknowingly so many offenses. So, but in this month, Purushottam, even unknowingly, if you do or knowingly, it will be forgiven. But don't do it knowingly, okay? <laughs> so, uh, it, will, it will be forgiven. It will, you know, this is an amazing month. So, imagine how much, if you do little sadhana, how much, you know, progress you will make, you know? Because the offenses will not be taken into account. Only our bhakti. You know. So, this is a rare chance. Okay. And uh, the other people also will not disturb you. The relatives and all that, they don't call you. Oh, you know, uh, I'm celebrating somebody's birthday or opening of the house or marriage. You know, like no marriage is done in this month, okay? Traditionally, no marriages, no house opening, no auspicious, so-called auspicious, mundane, you know, like karmakanda things, no, nothing is done. This month, 
everybody is quiet. <laughs> they don't want to do anything in this month. So they reject it. But actually for bhakti, it is very, very favorable. That's why uh, I'm sorry we were... So I thought what I would do is, in this month at least, we will finish this Bruhut Bhagavata Amritam, at least. <laughs> Try, you know. See, Bruhut Bhagavata Amritam, uh, now how it happened was, First of all, Sanatana Goswami, huh? he manifested this concept, Bruhat Bhagavatam, Bhagavatam Amrutam, Bruhat Bhagavatam Amrutam, Bhagavat, you know, Srimad Bhagavatam, right? But there are two words added to this Bhagavatam, Bruhat, meaning very big, and Amrutam. Bhagavat Amruta, Nectar. So, why is that? And he also wrote a commentary on that. See, in this Bruhut Bhagavata Amruta, there are two cantos called Purva and Uttara. You know, east and then north. There are two cantos, right? East and north. Now, in the east cant, uh, what is being described is uh, what is the who is the best recipient of the Krishna's mercy Rupa? Who is the best recipient? There are so many devotees, right? Different kinds. Who is the best? And Dharmani want to. Glorify that person, you know, all the time. So, uh, then the, that is the East. And the uh, East meaning like sun rises in the East, right? You understand? Why they named it as East and North? Why not West or South? Okay? So, East is sun rises, rising sun, right? Rises, sun rises in the East. So, that means what? Krupa, Lord's Krupa, the rising of Krupa, who is the most recipient of Lord's mercy? That is the East. And then in the North, uh, after getting his Krupa, what do we do? We go to Golok Vrindavan, right? Or in our mind, we have to live in like a Golok Vrindavan, Goloka. So the North describes the Glories of Goloka Mahat, glories of Goloka. Hmm? What is the characteristic there? So, uh, and in the Purva East Canto, the first Canto, there are seven uh, like a chapters. Bauma, this world, you know, this material world, you know, Divya, little. Uh, very amazing. Prapancha Atita, beyond this world. Atita, Prapancha Atita, Prapancha Atita. Huh? Bhakta, devotee. Priya, who is very uh, Priya, is very dear, very dear. Then more dear, Priyatama. And then Purna Krupa Patra. On whose Lord has showed his mercy to full. Huh? These are the seven, you know. So you can see this material world. Huh? Then Divya is like a heavenly planet, you know, like that. Then beyond this world, then a devotee. Dear devotee, more dear and most dear, you know, 
Then in the northern uh, canto, what is there? Uh, renunciation, vairagya, knowledge, jnana. Third is like bhajan, hmm? sadhana. Then fourth, vaikunta. Then prema, abhishtalava, jagdananda. Huh? Abhishtalava meaning the one what is most dear to her. Huh? How to get that? And Jagadananda, uh, one who gives pleasure to the whole world. Huh? So these are like seven chapters in the northern canto, uh, northern canto, eastern canto, like that. So all the uh, Vedas, Vedanta, Purana, Ityasa, we, we know that, right? The essence is of all that, Veda, Upanishad, so many, uh, is Srimad Bhagavat. You know that, right? Haradyo Bhagavan Vajesha Tanaya Staddhama Vrindavanam Ramya Kashit Upasana Vadu Vargena Kalpit. Srimad Bhagavatam Pramanam Amalam Prema Pumarto Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Matamidam so, Srimad Bhagavatam, this is the last thing that Veda Vyas compiled it. He, huh? So, ultimate, you know. Huh? Now, uh, now this Bhagavatam, Even this Bhagavatam, you know, Mantan, meaning he churned Srimad Bhagavatam. Imagine how oh, the essence of Bhagavatam. Huh? And this is what is uh, uh, Bhagavat Amruta, Bhagavat Amruta, Bhrut Bhagavat Amruta. That's why the name is added Amruta. Bhagavat Amruta, because it came out of churning of Bhagavat. Huh? So, in this, uh, all the related things to bhakti has been brought out. So, the, the root of that is how it came about. Is the conversation between Janme Jaya and Jaimini. See, Jaimini, this is the disciple of Vedavya. Jaimini and Janme Jaya. Who is Janme Jaya? He is the son of Parikshit. You remember? Uh, Parikshet, grandson of uh, Bhima, Arjuna, right? Uh, so he was cursed in seven days. Remember? So that time he was listening to Bhagavat. Uh, uh, Sukadev Goswami came and heard Bhagavat. Uh, so then Parikshit uh, telling the essence of Bhagavad because what he heard, uh, because she is asking. See, Sukadev Goswami came and he recited Srimad Bhagavatam to Parikshit and all the assembled sages, right? Vedavyas himself was there. Nard Muni was also there. And the Brahmana Kumara, you remember, who cursed Parikshit Maharaj, he was also there. <laughs> then uh, Shringi, huh? his father was also there. Everybody was there. And then Greater Son. After he reciting that, then he blessed him and then he disappeared. But there was still time before Takshaka came. Now was appearing to, uh, uh, to kill Parikshit. Of course, he could not kill. Already Parikshit was left, you know, by the time he came. But anyway, Lord's arrangement. There was some time. Then Uttara, the mother of Parikshit, approached Parikshit. Hey, my son. Oh, my dear son. 
whatever you heard from Sukhudeva Goswami, you, you tell me the essence of that in a very simple way, because I'm a lady, I'm a woman. I don't have much intelligence. So that I can also understand. Of course, she is devotee, she is seeing Krishna, you know, but she is telling on behalf of everybody, others. Okay. So uh, she is praying. You essence, you whatever you heard from Sukhdev Goswami. Because he doesn't have too much time. How much time? Few hours is left. You know, before in the, the time, you know, seven day end going to end. So she knows and he also knows. And she is asking, mother is asking, he cannot say no. Mother, you are asking me last minute, what is this? No, he did not say that. Mother is very dear to him and he is very, very dear to the mother. She is a devotee. So, on behalf of everybody, Krishna is inspiring her. Mo mother, you know, you ask him. See, these are all behind the scene. You have to see Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, end of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. See, this is also amazing because Bhrut Bhagavatam Amrutam was inspired by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to bring it out. Because in this age of Kali, this is Danya Kali, most auspicious age of Kali, okay? Not in all the Kali, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes. So that's why the mercy. <laughs> How much merciful he is in so many ways. We cannot understand his mercy. He came Jagannath Puri. He showed the, you know, what is the significance of Rati Yatra. Nobody knew before that. And he brought through Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami, so much jewels, essence. See, we cannot assimilate Vedas, Upanishads and all that. It's beyond any, anybody's capacity. Even hearing Srimad Bhagavatam is also beyond anybody's capacity. Bhrut Bhagavata Amrutam is very simple. See? Even he made the essence of Srimad Bhagavata. All glory is to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. You know, without him, it was not possible. And Sanatana Goswami became instrument in. So, so who is this? You know, we so he's amazing. Uh, and then, uh, even before this, see, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was not there. See, try to see, look at this way. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, we might say, you know, uh, historically speaking, he was not present, he was not appeared in, in public, right? When Parikshit Maharaj was telling this to Uttara, is it not? So then who inspired Pariksha, you know, Uttara Mataji to ask this question? And then who is answering? You understand what I'm saying? So we have to see the Lord before even appeared. He made arrangements, understand? You know? And then he brought it out again through uh, Sanatana Goswami. You know, see, bah. behind his scene. If you look at the life of Baba, Govinda Bhasya, you know, the, the commentary on Vedanta Sutra, you know, there was no Vedanta Sutra, Bhagavatam or the Vedanta Sutra. But they required, because in future they will say, ah, oh, these Gaudi are useless. They are not Sampradaya, they don't have, uh, you know, commentary on the Vedanta Sutra, you know. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, he manifested. 
it told even before it's going to manifest you know and uh, sarvam vattachari when he was telling to sarvam vattachari gopinath acharya was listening his commentary and then he himself came as baladev vidyabhishan and then he brought it bah the plan super super plan bah all voice to gauranga mahaprabhu govinda jay jay gopal gauranga 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 gaura bihane navanti parane gaura kare chita gaura boliya javaka jivan kichuna chai ma gaura 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 vedere sara gaura karibena para gaura nayanere tara gaura galara hara gaura 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 you know charya thank this lord is of chaitanya so um, so like this huh uh, this this is the background of brud bhagavatam tham so uh, uh, so there is a history there is two cantos each one has a history in it uh but uh but he is bringing out the 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 worship of yugal kishor huh? radha krishna upasana worship how the best uh so how we start this nardmani uh he has a desire see again who is inspired narmani see <laughs> that is see the background so narmani is thinking who is the highest foremost one who has the mercy of the lord you know sarva shreshta krupa krupa patra he wants to find out who is the highest mercy recipient of recipient you know of lord's mercy highest to the highest degree so and then what he wants to glorify them not narmani wants to envious you know he wants to glorify see vaishnava always glorify other vaishnava you know and uh, even if he is not a vaishnava uh, vaishnav, they glorify him huh? they see everybody as vaishnava see this is a thing the pure devotee see everybody as a vaishnava except him <laughs> you know this is a problem so uh, so he is he is going around so he is now he is goes to the prayag we will go as much detail not completely one month is maybe so uh, he goes to the prayag uh, uh, that is kashi there you see hmm, there was one brahmin on brahmana he is worshiping saligram so much faith saligram you know he is doing acha you know you know bathing uh and then he distributing all the charanamrut and then he is offering cooking and then he is offering to uh, aligram and then he is distributing to everybody there and then all the animals and all that you know see this is a thing uh, because the mercy of the lord prasadam should be given to everybody uh, free so then uh after that he is taking it so when narmani saw this he was looking at him oh definitely <laughs> he is the recipient of the greatest recipient of lord's mercy see how how much faith he has worshiping he worshiping kya hua kitna jaye 
ठीक है ये एक सौ रुपये ले एक्स्ट्रा लेना अच्छा अभी जा रहा है लेट हो रहा ठीक है ओ ठीक तो तो नारद मुनि ग्लोरीफाइंग ओ ब्राह्मण यार सो फार चिने यू आर रियली द ग्रेटेस्ट नो डिवोटी कृष्णा रियली ब्लेस यू टू द आईएस देन आह व्हेन द ब्राह्मण हर्ड इज ग्लोरीज ही सेड हाउ आई एम मोस्ट यूजलेस पर्सन What is my qualification? Uh, what I can I can really serve the Lord. Uh, but you know now, if you really want to see who is the recipient mercy of the Lord, you should go to South India, where there is a king, devotee king. You should see him. We please take his. Darshan. So hearing that, Narad Muni he went to the South India. Ah, huh? huh? uh, then he looked at the king's old day. How he is spending his time? Ah, huh? uh, how king is also celebrating many past times, you know, of the Lord. So much. He is spending everything. He made made arrangement for the devotees to stay free. Their prasad, you know, arrangement and all that. You know, so his worship. Uh, then seeing, you know, he is engaging fully. So Narmani started glorifying. Okay, we <laughs> are so so fortunate. You are spending all your thing in glorifying the Lord, serving the Lord. You are definitely the greatest. Please have mercy on me. You know, <laughs> Narmuni is crying. You know, is praying. Then, out of humility, King is saying, even though he is a devotee, yeah. Uh, he said, no, <laughs> I know. Lakshana meaning, I know symptoms of Krishna's mercy. I'm bereft of any his mercy. See, King is saying, see, Narmani is saying that way, but King is saying himself, he is bereft. He has no mercy on the Lord. He is useless. So then he said, see, whereas in the heavenly planet. Indra, you know, who is the who is the elder brother of Upendra Bhagwan, no, Lord Vamana, Vamana Dev, right? Lord Vamana is the is uh, younger brother of Indra. So Indra is his elder brother. How fortunate Indra must be! See. He got his Lord, Supreme Lord, as his younger brother. So much love and affection. How he is serving? So that means Indra must be the highest recipient of the Lord's mercy. Please take his darshan. You know, I am not unfit. I don't. Think. So then again, see, normally he went to Kolkata. See. <laughs> He doesn't need any passport or anything, right? He is free, no airplane, no booking, <laughs> right? Uh, no visa, nothing. He's 
he just desires and whoop, he's gone. So he came to, uh, you know, he went to heavenly planet. Uh, then he's, he was glorifying Indra. Oh, you see. Her <laughs> younger brother, he is Lord himself. He is serving you. Indra became very disgusted. He said, What? <laughs> you don't know the reality. Now and then I see him, afterwards I don't see him. Yes, he came and we were driven away by Bali Maharaj. We, we became homeless. True. He, he gave us back the, our kingdom. But what to do? He begged from Bali Maharaj. What he begged, what he got, he gave it to us. It doesn't look nice. <laughs> Imagine. See, look at the Indra's feeling. You know. <laughs> See? See, he's like a Kshatriya kind of thing, you know. Uh, so I'm not recipient. No, no. See? See, this is the problem with the heavenly planet. He is not grateful. Uh, but Narudmani is seeing him. Other devotees are saying, Hey, Upendra is so fortunate to have his own younger brother as Vamana. See, yeah, see the bhakti. You know? But anyway, so he is saying, No, I am unfit. I am not fit. Uh, then Indra said, No. Brahma, Satya Loka, he is most, you know, beneficial. He is the recipient of Lord's mercy. So many Leela he does. You know. So then, like, like that, Narudmani went to Satya Loka, Brahma. And Brahma is his, his father, right? Right? Uh -huh. Narudmani. So, uh, so there, Sahasra Shirsha, the Brahma is worshipping the Lord who has thousands of heads, uh, all the mantras. And uh, then Narmani glorified, started glorifying his father Brahma. Oh, <laughs> Father, we are really the recipient of the Lord's mercy. See? We are so worshipping so much. Lord comes whenever he, we are praying, he comes and all that. So he must be the self, you know, highest recipient of. Uh, then Brahma is saying, he became very, you know, uh, humble. Humble said, no. <laughs> Say, if that is the case, uh, uh, Brahma Moha, you know, when he was illusioned, you know, when he was trying to steal the calves and cows, see, Lord was, he didn't even look at him. <laughs> Our Guru is telling. He's praying so many nice words. You know. Krishna didn't even look at him, you know, he ignored him. So, uh, but of course, forgive him. The, but he is telling, Brahma is telling, you know, how I can be a recipient of mercy of the Lord. I made so much disturbances to his Leela. You know, I must be chastised. I am not a devotee. How I can get his mercy? See, look at this like this. Then, uh, then Shiva is telling, then Brahma is telling, then who is Lord Shiva? Well, he is the recipient. Then again, you know, Narayana goes to Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva says, he is praying. Then Shiva says, you are talking nonsense. 
I am not recipient of the Lord. I fought with him. I protected my so-called demonic you know, devotee. What to do? You know, Banasura, all this, you know. I gave, you know, uh, see, um, blessings to demons. And every time I get into trouble, he comes and saves me. That is true. But, you know, I'm not recipient. If he, if, he, if if I am recipient, then why he ask me to go in the form of Shankaracharya and preach? You know, Mayavada, no God, or everybody is God. <laughs> right? You forcing me. He did not take me, you know, with, with him. Like that, like that, he said. You know, then who is? Uh, then... Shiva is telling Prahalad. <laughs> See, Prahalad is the greatest recipient. He should go and glorify. See, Lord came as nursing the way to protect him. Lord. So, then, then he went to the Prahalad. Prahalad is glorifying. <laughs> oh, Prahlad, you are so fortunate. You are the greatest recipient of the Lord. Lord came to protect you. Oof. You are so... And the Lord was not pleased by the, by the uh, prayers of Brahma. Even Lakshmi was afraid to go. But when he went, he was so... He gave up all his anger. It was so, you know, tears were coming from the eyes of nursing. You know, so then Prahlad is, oh, no, hey, are you out of your mind? Hey, Narada Muni, even though you are my guru, <laughs> looks like you are out of your mind. I you think, if I am most recipient of the Lord, mercy, then how, how I was served him? I never served him. Huh? Um, you know, I never got a chance to serve him. Then he might say, he came to protect me. No. He came to keep your word. Understand? <laughs> to make your words true, Lord nothing they came. Not my words, not my, you know. So then how I can be a devotee? How I can be recipient? No, no, no. Sir, you are wrong. <laughs> so, then he says to, um, Rahla says, No, Anuman, you see? Serving Lord Ramchandra, always, in so many ways. Anuman carries even the Lord on his shoulder. Here. See? He came nursing there for how long? Even like a, to me, it's like a, like a second. Now it's gone. Now where? <laughs> so, like that. Then Narada Muni went to Anuman. Then he's saying like that. He's Chimpurusha Varsha, right? Actually, he's in China. Huh? Chimpurusha Varsha. Chimpurusha Varsha. Where Anuman is always there, glorifying. Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. You know, Anuman has a belt on his, uh, on his, tied to his feet, right? Making nice sound. And then in his hand, you know, like this special kind of, you know, he's jumping up and down, completely immersed in glorifying uh, Sita Ram. You know, tears completely flowing every time. And he's crying all the time, you know. So, he's not aware of anything else. So, then, Narada Muni entered there. Narada Muni also saying, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram. Sita. Then Anuman looking at him, who is this? Who is he was also chanting, <laughs> Sita Ram, Sita Ram. He saw Narada Muni, he's also dancing. 
So immediately Anuman also jumped into the sky. No? Anuman and Narumani, imagine, okay, both are hugging together, chanting. Uh, Sri Ram Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, Sita Ram, for a long time. <laughs> okay, both are crying. And then finally, they, you know, Anuman brought him down. Oh, Narumani, oh, what made you to come here? Yeah, I'm so blessed by your presence. Huh? Then, uh, like that, you know, <laughs> then Narmuni, you know, glorifying, oh, no, you, are, you are the most recipient of the Lord's mercy because you served in so many ways. You brought the medicine, you carried mountains, you carried Lord also, Lakshman, Ram, you know, you did so many things. Then Anumana is saying, he refused to take it. If I am the most recipient, why am I by myself here? He told me to <laughs> stay back. He did not take me to his world, to the spiritual world. He did not take me. That means I am unfit. I am not a devotee. <laughs> See, Anuman is telling that. Whereas Pandavas, see, Yudhishthira Maharaj, Pandavas, they are the recipient, highest recipient. <laughs> you know. So, uh, then, like that, you know, uh, then Pandavas, anyway, we'll complete it. Huh? Um, amazing. Pandavas did not you know, also accept it. <laughs> As you know, he's telling, Oh, he told me Bhagavad Gita, what? I was so immature, you know, like that. Now he is not there, you know. Not there. We are feeling his, you know. Kunti is also crying. Pandavas, everybody is crying. We are unfit. <laughs> if you are really, you know, Fit for his mercy, why he left us? You know, you know now everything, you know, so that's why Kunti is saying, I wish more difficulties will come because then Lord will come. We remember he will come. He will stay with us. We can serve him. Now no difficulty. <laughs> you know, that's why he left us. Whereas Yadavas, among Yadavas, Uddhava is the greatest because he is his friend, minister, you know, uh, he sends him everywhere. He wears even, he looks like Krishna, he wears Krishna's dress, whatever Krishna left, you know. He wears the Krishna's garland all the time. He, you know, he is the recipient. So Narumani goes to Dwarka and then he is telling like that to Uddhava. Ah. So then he is glorifying Uddhava. <laughs> Who can be more recipient? Then Uddhava is crying, what, Narumani, you are out of your mind. You know, he sent me, Krishna, to test me to Vrindavan. Oh, when I saw gopis, <laughs> when I heard, when I saw Radha far away, I was not qualified to go even yet. You know, I wanted to take entry in their school. I was totally failed even in return test. Okay. <laughs> Entry test, I failed miserably. So I wish I could, my only desire is, I wish I can be born as a little grass there in Uttar, so that gopis will walk over it. I will get their mercy on my head. I That I consider my life successful. Don't, you know. 
I am most unfit. So like that, okay. Uh, then, then he is telling how, uh, you know, now Krishna is, is the status of Krishna is crying. So you know, separation from these gopis. See, we're all worried. Is Krishna becomes sick? You know, he is is crying all the time. Even daytime is crying like that, like that. You know, Rukmini, Satyabhama, they are all discussing. Uh, then new Vrindavan was built. Now Vrindavan, you know, like look like in Dwarka, near Dwarka. So to take Krishna there and then Balaram. Uh, and uh, what appeared like Vrindavan, Mother Yashoda sitting, like the deity, deity of Mother Yashoda, like that. Huh? And um, uh, Rohini, huh? Rohini is all, all, all over there. Huh? They made all, all these arrangements to, because, to bring back Krishna. Huh? Uh, so they keep Krishna there like that, it's very nice. Huh? Then Narad Muni is singing, glorifies of Vrindavan. Huh? Then Krishna wakes up hearing this. Then immediately he sees where is his flute and he's dressed up like uh, Vrindavan. And then immediately gets up. He doesn't see his flute. He's thinking, oh, Lalita must have stolen. <laughs> so then Yashoda is also there, deity of arm. And she is deity form, she cannot speak. She is having uh, butter in her hand. Then Rohini comes and tells Krishna, Mother Yashoda is worried about you. You are sleeping. That's why she is not talking. Oh. So saying, he immediately snatched butter in the mother's hand and then goes. And then the other devotees, so Balram is telling, hey, time is up, come, come, Krishna, don't be late. Time is already passed for taking cabs, you know. Like that, you know, like that. Then Krishna sees the ocean and da 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 da. <laughs> then Narumani, then he says, what is this? There is no ocean, they, you know. I thought it was Yamuna. <laughs> ocean was Yamuna. But then you see the big building, like Dwarka, right? Multi big, big palaces. He does not see. Then what is this? There is no palace. <laughs> so finally it comes to them. They tell this is a thing. Then this is the forum, you know, We're going to the Vrindavan, bringing Krishna to there. And there where Krishna appearing as Jagannath, Baladev. You know, Subhadra manifesting like that, you know. So, this is the first uh, uh, chant of Srimad Purud Bhagavatam. Very, very sweet. Actually, um, how do you say? The, you can see how Lord's you know, progression of Krupa mercy, you know. Like that, uh, Narad Muni, uh, you know, going through, you know, everywhere. And uh, through Sanatana Goswami. So this is amazing thing. You know. Essence, the Amrut, not ordinary essence. The transcendental nectar of Srimad Bhagavata uh, brings out very, very sweetly. You know? That's why Uttara, Mother Uttara heard this from Harikshit Maharaj. You know? And uh, Janme Jaya uh, Jaimini uh, says Jaimini is telling this to Janme Jaya, the who's son of. Uh, Parikshit, uh, grandson of Uttara. Uh, 
So, um, this is uh, very, very beautiful. Huh? So, next time we will continue this. Um, ಆಗ್ಲೋಸ್ಪಸ್ಪಸ್ಪಸ್ಪಸ್ಪಸ್ಪಸ್ಪಸ್ಪಸ್ಪಸ್ಪಸ್ಪಸ್ಪಸ್